Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes to knit and today I have a finished object for you and today is my design and I call it Relax Holder. I designed something quick, something fun. Uh, the yarn that I use is 100% Polish wool. I may have this kind of 30 grams because that's how much I used um, in my shop. So um, we shall see how it goes. Don't take a word for it. The pattern you can find linked down below. And if you're watching it when it is re released and hopefully around December, January, and if you're watching it when it's released, there's 20% off. So check the link down below. I'm going to put a code over there. Uh, follow me on social media because most of the times when I'm publishing new pattern I give a discount here and there so I uh, check it out this holder was designed for my sister when I showed her a Polish wool how rustic it is she thought it would be a brilliant idea to have a washcloth and that was actually her uh, request um, for a Christmas gift so this is what I'm going to give to her I'm going to use it as a soap holder so um, basically that you can use it for the body and they let it dry. I love the smell of it, the wool, and it kind of soaks, uh, soaks, gets the smell of the soap too. Uh, we shall see how it reacts. Maybe I will do a small washcloth. Actually, I made one just to test it, how it's going to uh, react. I have a quite a bigger one. I think a smaller one would be even better. So you can have a really nice a gift for someone uh, you love. Uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be used as a soap holder. You can use this just to hang it somewhere and put some little things in it, like a pocket. And that's that. You may notice I have a little tag. You may notice a little tag with a heart and I have have over here a year and uh, 2018 so she will know when I knitted it and I will know too because I have tendency to forget and I think it's so cute so what you need to do to knit this um, obviously you can get quite a nice rustic wool but I think um, cotton may work well too although cotton has a tendency to stretch after a while so um, go for it if you want to the gauge for this pattern is 16 stitches by 20 rounds uh, to knit it to knit it um, in the pattern you have a link to the Judy's magic cast on we're working around um, and then we're doing the creases we do something special over here in the middle and we finish with an I cord a, a I cord loop so um, quite easy check it out uh, and I hope you're going to get a, the same nice uh, effect this is for one size only but once you read but once you read the pattern you can adjust it to the size you want uh, I presume after knitting a first one you'll know what to do in case you want to have it smaller or bigger. I love it. The needles I use just to get that. Um, my yarn I checked is in 100 grams. I have 120 meters, which is 130 yards. So it would classify as a bulky or worsted um, weight. But once you get 16 um, stitches and you will know once you do maybe three rounds around here, you can check how big it is. Um, you will know um, you can get smaller or bigger. Obviously, you can go with whatever you want. You can follow the pattern with number of stitches and at the end of the day, you may get the holder smaller or bigger. Um, I used uh, US size seven needles, which is 4.5 millimeters to knit at this beauty. As I mentioned, I use 24 grams, I think. So I would say you'd be safe with a 30. And that's what I'm going to write in the pattern that you need from 30 grams up. It took me from two to three hours to knit this. Obviously, I was focusing on the pattern too, so maybe a little bit quicker. But I would say if you have two, three hours, you can have it straight away and go for it. Very nice. And I would say a beautiful gift. I would love to get something like this, to be honest. And you can make it longer. You can make it uh, for some things that are just hanging. You can really use it for your own uh, house and decor. I'm so proud of it. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it too. Don't forget to use hashtag the I love. Show me what you're knitting. The hashtag for this pattern is relax holder. And what else? Share. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Bye. I think that's all. Okay, so one more thing, just to let you know, check Knitting I Love group on Ravelry. There is something like Knitting I Love pattern giveaway. I'm not saying anything more. Check it out, link down below. Bye.